All right, Artifact Anvil, Crab Rave. I'm going Crab Rave. I'm going Crab Rave. Instant Tuber. Instant, instant Tuber. I do enjoy the flexibility of reroll. If you don't, if you don't hit, you try to push nine and go uh, five cost flex. That doesn't really work. So, that doesn't really work for um, for high level play because you need to commit to the reroll. Artifact Anvil. All right, so we didn't get Crab Rave. That's fine. Artifact Anvil's fine. Um, so you need to commit to the reroll. Um, if you decide that you didn't hit, it's because you haven't rolled yet. If you roll a decent amount, then, you're, then your money just is, is down the drain and you can no longer go fast nine. A rod? It's more based on if you're contested, rather than if you hit. I mean, I could understand that. I could understand that. That being said... That being said, a lot of the reroll comps are better if you just if, if you just reroll it while you're contested. Unless you're, like, mega contested, then yeah. Like, if there are three people going Aphelios, Aphelios two-star is enough to save some HP and push levels. Yeah, yeah, and then you can go. Then then you can go, Syndra. Kha'Zix, Nar, Luck, the Felios, Annie. Hmm. Okay. This is weird. I don't know what I'm going for right now. I think I ditched the, the, the Janna, though. And I think that Janna has no part in this. Alright, well, there's, there, there's, there's some direction. That's a Rage Blade. There's some direction. So, Tiniest Titan, Lucky Gloves, Caretaker's Chosen. Mm, Caretaker's Chosen. I think Tiniest Titan, because I have a really bad board right now. Freaky Friday? Nah, I think it's Tiniest Titan. I'm gonna go Tiniest Titan because my board's just terrible. This story is not yet finished. Fine Vintage Heavenly Story Ever is, is so fucking dumb, I love it. I mean, whether or not it's dumb... It's kind of borked in. It's kind of borked in. Kind of borked. Is this 10? No, that's eight. Okay. So I don't have to sell anything. The Eternal Winter with the with the Rage Blade pair though is is really nice. I'm honestly surprised. Oh actually, I think I do lose this one. Looks like I do from Ghostly. Yeah, okay. So cool. I'm actually at 100 HP. Look at that. 100 HP. I'm Mr. 100. Yay! Alright, and then I just make money. And then this is where I start losing. Because I'm... Yeah. But I think that with these, it makes more sense to go for Faded than, than anything else. You know? Makes more sense to go faded. Never a dull moment. Just cause, like, Rage Blade. I mean, you could go Mythic, but it's Bard. You know? It's Bard. Which is fine. Like, if, if that ends up being the case, then sure, but I, I would just want to make money anyway right now. None of that was really aiming towards Bard. So I'm either go to going faded or or I'm going barred. This guy's going Yone. At least for right now. I don't know if he's going to be playing the Diana version or the Yone version, but yeah. All right. So here's what I have to do here. Ditch these and just play another Yasuo. Honestly, because I'm going for money. Going for money. Thank you. 
Resume Duelist Yone from that point. Yeah, me too, but um, the Diana version is better. But the Yone version is like fine as a as a transitional step. Alright. This is going about as I expected. But at least I'm I'm saving some HP. I'm gonna be 10 HP healthier than than I uh, than I would have been otherwise. Is the Diana version just pumping up Sage and Dragon? Pumping Sage and Dragon. Um. Yeah. Well, so Diana just works really well with the emblem too. Diana just works really well with the emblem. Okay, I'm gonna take Bard, because just in case I decide to go Bard, and then that's then the sword is is good. The sword is good. Um. Just because, like, she has... So you can you can end up splashing in Wukong. So if you end up going that comp, then your late game is, like, Lee Sin, Diana, um, Wukong. Like, you end up getting Heavenly and Sage because you end up doing Kiana as well. So that's, like, the main focus of the comp is, is you end up going reroll with that. So it just kind of works. It just kind of works. Do we just go the trick shots now? Maybe we do this. I maybe could have done like the behemoths instead. Or maybe even like the Diana. This guy has Altruist Crown, he's going Bard. There goes my scouting. Oh, but he's he has all his items on the Tom Kench. He's playing Story Weavers right now, so maybe he's just playing Story Weaver Altruist and not actually Bard. Choice between different champions. Three cost unit, two random two costs, or two star one cost. Give me a three cost. Thresh? Well, now I'm just all kinds of confused. Alright, so I'm I'm making an executive decision that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go Felios this game. It also doesn't look very contested. This guy has it, but he's the only one. Oh, actually, wait, what? I don't know, man. The sword is, is okay on either, you know? Just buy out shop. One guy's going bard. You really, I mean, like, you can you can contest with Aphelios is the thing. Like, you can. But we have the, we have the setup here for this. We have the setup over here for Mythic. We need to level. We need to put this in. Emerald Gaming. True. True. Now I'm confused gaming, though. It's another sword? That probably means Aphelios. That probably means Aphelios. Hey, there's an Aphelios. Alright, so... We go Aphelios on that. We pair these two together. We can keep Altruist going for the moment. And then we will find the others. But we're going to do Deathblade on this. Yeah, and Deathblade, that's what I'm saying. When in doubt, Vertical Porcelain. You're not wrong. Except you're entirely wrong.
Do I need to go the Gargoyle Stump? Actually, I don't think it really matters. I'm still on a lost streak, so like, if I happen to win, then I happen to win. But I have Tiniest Titan, so I'm not really worried about my HP. Not yet, at least. I might still do really well, though, with the, uh, with the Eternal Winter going. And Thresh and Yasuo with both with the shields. Oh my god! They just killed the man! No! <laughs> Not my boy! Ah! Hate it, Crest? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, that's, that, that's, yeah, I, I guess that's, that's an apt assessment. Mm-hmm, sure. Do we keep playing Altruist here, or do we go for, uh, or do we go for the Behemoth? I think we play Altruist right now. Actually, we play, uh, we play Sniper and Behemoth. We play Sniper Behemoth. It's also less pricey. It's also less pricey. The Eternal Winter is going to be really nice on Thresh. This guy has a two-star Thresh already, but he has ten gold. Yeah, I think that I'm in a better spot than him. Because he's also only got one more HP than me, which means I actually have more HP than him. But with the tiniest titan, it's pretty alright. Yes, I mean, like, this is this is what you expect, right? This is what you expect. This is gonna go on Orn. We're gonna get Syndra, and we're gonna get Ari, and then we will be big chillin'. Big chillin'. Can we put anything in? Other than just a random Galio. We could put Invoker in, but Invoker is not very useful. This is better than that. So I don't think that we actually level here. We just pre-level, or like just put our money into XP. Not even pre-leveling. So I'll start rolling on 7. I'm not really going to worry about this right now. Oh wait, we kill a couple. Nice. Cool. Um... One more emblem. One more emblem. If we can somehow pull out one more emblem. Such potential. I mean, we definitely need to start rolling for a little bit though, right? Just so we can like power up. And also find our uh, our other dude. Okay, well there, there's that. We can sell this. Then we can do Eternal Winter on this guy. We have six faded, which is fine. We'll just do like that for right now. And then since we're so close to our wolves, we'll just ditch this, and then we'll be okay. We need to roll down to like 30 though, honestly, so that we can power up a little bit, because otherwise we're not going to survive this game. Okay, that's not a bad loss. That's not a bad loss. 
We have Exalted almost. Actually, no, that's Annie. We're not actually playing any. Support item which lasts for three rounds. Which one? Oh, I get to choose. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's Zeke's, right? I guess it's Zeke's. All right, let's, let's roll down just a tiny bit. Let's roll down just a tiny bit. Huh? Huh? Set on seven? Um... Speaking of powering up... 1% set on seven? God, let's get a prismatic loot orb or something. True. True. No JFK this time. Oh, come on. Thresh, do better. I need a two-star Aphelios. Like, without two-star Aphelios, the Omnivamp actually does, like, nothing. Or am I getting, like, that hard contested right now that I can't even do that? I found another one. How many Aphelioses do they have? Two? And then... There's only one guy going it now. The other guy got rid of it. Okay. Actually, no. Three. Three Aphelioses out other than mine. Okay. Honestly, it's this. Porcelain Warden. Okay, so we have we have Warden. That's what I was thinking, is that we end up going this instead. Honestly. Yeah, and then we just go Faded here. And then maybe we should have actually just had the, uh, the, the Runins. Can I hit, though? Okay, cool. I did not see a two-star Aphelios on someone's board. Yeah, no, there was no... So somebody somebody got rid of two-star Aphelios. There are three of them out of the pool. There's There are two people running them. One of them has uh, two. One of them has, has one. That's what I was saying. Like, our our team is pretty, pretty okay, though, right? We just don't have snipers in yet. Which maybe I should put in now because I have the Aphelios back in. But if we can get, like, Hedge Fund Plus, something like that, or, like, Faded Crown. Okay, never mind. It's not happening. It's not happening. Um, you have my sword. Could give me... Could be okay. Teaming up Pandora's items. Pandora's items could help me finish out my team, but... This, I mean, I just get a GS. GS is one of his best items. I think it is. I think it is that. Because, like, Set likes the AD, too. Everybody likes the AD. Just not... Just not more than more than other things, you know? Well, let's just go You Have My Sword. Alright, let's just... Let's just go... Let's just go GS. We'll go GS. Maybe I should put in the... Um, instead of having Warden in, maybe I should have Sniper. But at this point, like, I'm, I, I haven't really hit, so I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna level. I'm gonna level, we're gonna get, like, nine faded, and then hope for, like, a, then pray for, like, a, a faded emblem on stage five carousel. I mean, Thresh did an amazing job there. Nice. Thresh blocked how much? Oh, actually, Volley Bear <laughs> blocked more. But still, 
we ended up having Set and Amumu. And, you know, I mean, like, I kind of like having that there, though. So maybe I just throw the Sniper in for just the reason of having Sniper. Like, I don't even, I don't fate the Amumu. I don't fate the, uh, the, the, this girl. Let's just level. We'll go down to, like, 20 for this, and then we'll put Sniper in. You know? It's not bad. It's not bad. I just wish I had, like, an Orn, you know? Yeah, there are there are quite a few Ophelioses out of the pool at this point. The Omni Vamp is is very nice though. Maybe Thrash, maybe. Oh my god. Okay. His Yasuo ended up blocking more than my Thrash. Just I need a, I need a Thrash item here. I need like D Claw. Two-star Yasuo is, ins is so insanely tanky. True. True. Yes, yeah, so we go D-Claw. D-Claw would probably help a lot. Yeah, who did I just face? Wolfie? It's like, he doesn't even have that crazy of a Yasuo build. And it's only 5 faded too. It's just like, the pumping up, and gifts from the fallen, and ascension... Like, my, my team, my Aphelios actually did more, but he has more of a balanced team is the issue. You know? Alright, so this is better than that. Already it is. Now, where do I put this, the, the Thresh? Is the Thresh in the right spot? And is the Set in the right spot? I think Set is in the right spot. We declaw this. Caitlyn should target the Kindred. And now I have a D-Claw, so, like, things should be way easier, right? Because this is ghostly. Felios sounds like a Harry Potter spell. True. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Caitlyn shouldn't target the Aphelios here. Now she might. Oh, wait. Get down, Mr. President. Okay. Do I sell the Threshes? I think it's too important for the for the for the endgame board though. This is actually better than this, so we can get Ghostly in. And do we do Maybe we do a Lowy over over a Moomoo too. And then we can just flex in four ghostly. Just flex in four ghostly. You know, next level we put in another ghostly. Could be could be Kane. Yeah, four ghostly seems good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Especially since, you know, we, we need that extra damage. We just need the extra damage. And everybody can can make use of the ghostly damage. It's crazy how set casts once and just full heals because of faded seven omnivam. Maybe Ari over Kindred for Arcanist then? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, but not right now. Not right now. The Arcanist isn't isn't worth uh, yet. The Arcanist is not worth yet. See, now this is what I'm thinking. This right here. And then if we can somehow... And four Ghostly is just Morgana. Yeah, Morgana is definitely the Ghostly that we want. Morgana's definitely the ghost that we want. Slow things down a little bit more. I mean, like, we already have the Eternal Winter, though. So, like, how much does she really help? Hopefully we get some good Syndra items here. Quicksilver. Spark, maybe. Spark could be good. I think we honestly just, like, level up right now for this. Uh, Spark is okay, or Gauntlet, actually. I think Gauntlet is better. Let's go Gauntlet. 
we'll get like a we'll get something else later. Let's let's just level for the ghostly. Cuz realistically like how much more can we really power up without that? We need to we need to start rolling though. We need to level up our units. We also need to find an orn. Actually no, we don't do orn anymore. Orn is not in the is not in the comp this time. Orn is in fact not in the comp this time. So I need to keep that out of my brain. Honestly, like, the Seven Faded Four Ghostly seems like it could be... Seems like it could be a really, really, you know, top contender here. I feel like. You know? And then realistically, like, we could just keep three Ghostly if we happen to, uh... Does this guy have a Gunblade on his thing? No. Okay. Yeah, you see, it's the... it's the Diana version. It's the Diana version. And then I think that I am, I am very contested here, so, yeah. Yep, Duelist Diana. Yep, yep, yep. I called it. It just works. I don't really mind the, if the Huey attacking my backline because I have the, oh my god. I mind the Kane attacking my backline, though. Yeah, I don't have any sort of... I don't have any sort of shred. I have sunder. I don't have shred though. If I had, if I had a sunder, then or shred, I would have been okay. Well, better off. I wouldn't have been okay. Ten free rerolls. Yeah, kind of need that. No, I'm not playing this. Okay. I don't, you know what? I'm 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 not gonna risk it, just in case, just in case. And then these do these do carry over, these do carry over. But I wish that I got these guys to two star. Those being one stars right now, not so great. Yeah, it's because of this, the ghostly comps. Slowing things down at least helps a little bit, right? It looks pretty good now, but it could change. Oh no, it's good. <laughs> this comp exists to counter Ophelios. Well, guess what? I used your ghosts against you, loser. Yeah, Sun is really... Re Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Shut up. Everybody shut up. <sighs> we gotta get to level 10. <laughs> we gotta get to level 10. We gotta get to level 10. We gotta, 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 gotta somehow get to level 10. Okay, so right now it is absolutely faded her. Um, we need to find, I just, I just rolled past that, but yeah. We need to find the set. Okay, we're not rolling anymore though. We are not rolling anymore though. We already have all the faded on the bench, yeah. Yeah. I do. I just, I need to, I need to get like 70 gold, which can take a little while, unfortunately. But I, I, I can sell my, I can sell my Morgana, because I don't think that she's worth the, uh, the, I don't think she's worth the money. But like, I want to make sure that I'm okay first. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my power up so I don't lose my HP. But like, this game could definitely go on for long enough to the point where I, where I get that. Come on, Thresh. Okay. Good cast, good cast. Yes. Come on, Syndra! Come on, Syndra! No! Yeah, creep is next. Just don't spend. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. 
I'm not spending. I'm not spending. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's just hype. It's just hype, okay? It's just hype. This comp I might have to reposition for. Actually, uh, I don't think I can reposition, really. I don't think I really can reposition. Is it ever sell set on bench for interest? No, it's not. I don't think that, I don't, I honestly, I think that set two star would probably be good enough anyway just to, like, help me win the fight. You know? This comp is, oh my god. I don't think I can go fade at 10. I don't think I can go fade at 10. That's so sad, but I don't think I can. Oh my god. How much damage is this? 17. Ugh. Irelia 2 star with IE red buff collector, yeah. <sighs> now what do we think about about the possibility of selling this guy. All right, so here's the thing. I need 70 gold. I need 50 gold. There's no way I'm getting 50 gold. Like, I can sell Morgana and Aphelios for, for like, 20. But unless I get, like, a bunch here, and then I survive one more round, you know... All right, blue buff. Good. 72. I'm not selling Aphelios yet. But like realistically, I would go to I would sell Aphelios for 10 faded. I would. I would. Over here. Yeah, we do this. Blue buff on, on Cinder though, is going to be a massive upgrade. Undeniable. Just a little tough to deal with. Yeah, well, two-star Huey, of course, yeah. This, this has been here. This has been here. Come on! No! 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 Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. Be crazy, be crazy, be crazy. Be crazy. Be crazy. He's crazy. Hold on. He's crazy. Can I do it? I can. I can. Watch this. And then I sell the Aphelios in the set. <laughs> oh, 10 for 10 faded. Let's go. Come on, it's got to be enough. It's every bonus. It's every bonus. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. I just ran over him. That Aphelios was so clutch. That Aphelios was so clutch. <laughs> I don't even know what to do anymore for this comp. Oh no, I just need to two star thing. Actually, I don't even know if I need to do that. I don't even need to, I don't even know if I need to do that. All right, so then we do this, honestly. Doesn't matter what we fate together. I want everybody to target over here. And honestly, this is what we do. We position like this. Okay, all right. And then the Aurelia gets slowed, right? Because she ended up attacking that guy first. I mean, it's 10 faded, right? It's... It's... Okay. Alright. 
It's a first. It's got to be a first. It's just so beautiful. Completely deserved. Completely deserved. Shiv? Shiv with a set? Shiv with a set. Alright, so now my Syndra has even more. Okay. Has even more going for her. They're going to blow up even faster. We and we have a two-star set. Nice. This is... Everything, everything I hope for. This is exactly what I meant by if your contested push levels just hit faded 10. True! You're so right! Just do that! Of course. Of course. Okay, I don't think that, that repositioning the Aurelia really does much here, though. As silly as that is. Right? Because as soon as they get to the to the Thresh, then it's just... It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Chi <-chi. laughs> Oh, that's so good. Ten faded. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow my Twitch for more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.